Good afternoon. It's the 7th of July and we're going to pick some figs. I got several different varieties just to walk through. This is just going to be a, what we're picking here in the fig greenhouse and zone grow zone 7 southern Illinois. Just a quick throw together. So this first one we're looking at we're getting ready to pick some off of. This is LSU Huye. Hollier, Hollier, however you want to say it. You can see these are way already. The neck's pretty soft on them. Might be just a little bit of blood there, but we're going to go ahead and take them because they got just a little bit of cracking and splitting. That nerve's real soft. It's just right. But we're going to go ahead and get it picked. I think it's we're plenty ripe enough. Got quite a few of these. That one there, we'll let it hang another day. That one as well. I'll let them hang as long as I can. That one just get picked. All right. Let's mumble on through the greenhouse and see what we can find. What's that right there? Not ready. The real trick is getting through here sometimes. None of the in-ground trees have started fruiting yet, but there's quite a few potted trees that's got figs. This one here's, let's see how it's doing. It's got several that's getting close. Oh, there's a good ripe one. This is Minskarinska 10. It's got a little mold on the bottom of it, but that's okay. It'll get eat today. That nurse pretty soft. Let's take it. That needs another day. You want these to be pretty soft. I believe that's it for the, that one. Here's another one back over here. It's got some ripe on it. Maybe. Oh yeah. Can you see that one? RDB. Rondé Bardot. We'll get a few of these today. Yeah. This one here feel like. It's pretty soft up by the neck. It's got some cracking on it. I'm going to take it too. That nurse. Let's give that one another day. It's got several on it that's ripe. Come out here and look at this end. Can you see that one? It's pretty soft up there by the neck, right in there. These different ones are a little harder to tell, but it's real soft as you can tell. I don't know how soft you can see it is there, but it's, you see it in the camera, it's pretty soft. That's one we want to take. I bet there's some more back here. This is LSU O'Rourke. Oh, that nerd just fell right off. I really like this fig. The more of these I eat and it produces well, it, it'll try to dry. You see how the neck is real shriveled? It dries on the tree. Oh, yep, there's another one. This, this one's ready. Yep, it produces quite a few figs. I think those are all hang till tomorrow. The necks will get a little softer. Let me uh, peek down through here. There might be another LSU Ollie down here. Let me look. No, it needs to hang. That'll be the best part about getting these potted trees out of here. You'll have a lot more room in here. And you'll be able to see stuff a lot easier. This is just what I've picked. I haven't even got down one row hardly. Let's see what's down through. I don't think there's anything down through there. 
we'll go right on back out through that way. This is Floria. And I do believe it's the same as that one's ready. Minskarinska 10. There's another one that's real ready. It pop off there, but it's kind of got some mold spots on it probably should have been picked a day or two ago I tend to really let these hang because I know how much better oh yeah like see there's a perfect one this is where you want Floria and Minskarinsk tend to get to see how supple they are they got that dried caramel fruit flavor so I think that's all that's well wait a minute what's this one here it's cracking I think we're gonna go ahead and take it. It's got some cracks on it. It'll it'll start to mold. As you can see that other one. It ain't got no cracks in it, so it don't mold. But if they start getting cracks in them like that one, then Minskarinska or Floria, they they tend to want to mold. I want to draw your attention to this tree right here next to it. I want you to look how productive this thing is. This is Briscoe Rosso. And it's in a seven gallon pot. It's very productive. Now let's move on down to here. Oh, wait a minute. Don't have to go too far to find some more figs to pick. Ooh, that one popped right off. This is Campanieri. That one's not ready. That one's going to drop. It dropped a few, but I don't mind because it's ripening some too. This one's. Look at the. Can you see the honey in the eye of that thing? Campanieri. That's when it's about perfect. Here's another one. Ain't quite got the eye. It's a little earlier, but it's still like a bag of jelly. So is this one under here. It's more than ready. Let's see how soft it is. Campanieri. This is my pastelier. It's uh, I picked a couple figs off of it earlier today because I touched them like that and they just fell off, but they were real ripe. But this one is starting to ripen some figs. As you can see, it's got quite a few on it. There's another one starting to swell. This is what these look like when they ripen. Here we've got a seven gallon Smith. I've already picked one earlier today off of another seven gallon I seen it, but it's real soft. The Smiths don't get as purpley in the greenhouse or in here as they would normally do uh, just because they don't have quite the access to the dramatic sunlight. Uh, they still purple up though, at least partially. But this is Smith, and that you can tell it's plenty soft enough to pick. So, I believe that's about all we're going to get picked today. Uh, I'd say they, they, there, there's at least a pound, pound and a half of figs today of what we've picked. So, we'll, we'll be cutting some of these open to show you what they look like and, in another video. But there's what we're picking today, and kind of what it's like to just walk through here and scour for some figs have a good day here's one that's about to ripen a piece of fruit remember the old tree the grease day st jean that got broke out of my layering look at there big old fig we're gonna get to taste one here for too long i'll definitely make sure i get a video of it when we get gets ready <laughs> 